What's going on Yon Nation and welcome back for another Cyberpunk 2077 video. One of the biggest pulls of a full-fledged RPG is all the customization systems that they typically offer to give you as many possibilities to have a unique experience. Today we'll be going over all the RPG systems and customization options in Cyberpunk 2077 so you'll really know what kind of choices you'll be able to make when you make the plunge and dive into Night City on April 16th. First we have the option to choose our past or origin story via the life path system. These will influence dialogue options in the game and will allow you to interact with different factions on a different scale. For example, if you choose the street kid background, your knowledge of the streets and gang life might allow you to press gang members for deeper answers to your questions. These life paths will also influence how you got to the beginning of the story, and although each life path starts off in roughly the same conditions, when you load up Cyberpunk, the way that you actually got to that starting point will be different. Life paths will also influence how your apartment will be decorated, and although we only have one apartment regardless of life path, this is definitely a plus. Our three life paths are as follows. First we have the nomads which are described as quote, roaming the badlands, looting scrapyards, raiding fuel depots. Life on the road wasn't easy, but growing up in a nomad clan has its perks. Honesty, integrity, and a love of freedom, qualities that few in Night City possess, and no amount of money can buy. Next we have street kids. They say if you want to understand the streets, you gotta live them. Gangs, fixers, dolls, small time pushers, you were raised by them all. Down here, the law of the jungle dictates that the weak serve the strong, the only law in Night City you have yet to break. Finally, we have the corporate life path. Few leave the corporate world with their lives, fewer still with their souls intact. You've been there, you've bent the rules, exploited secrets and weaponized information. There's no such thing as fair game, only winners and losers. Next we have something that I'm sure a ton of you will be spending an inordinate amount of time on, and that's the character creator. Within this we will have to choose our physical style, what our character will look like and their actual physical traits. We start off with body type which you can match with a male or female voice. You'll be able to use sliders for body types according to this post on reddit, but to what degree is still to be determined. Moving on to the appearance tab, we have an expansion of the character creator since E3 2018, although visually it might seem condensed. If we combine these character creators, we have skin tone options, eye type, eye color, nose, ears, mouth, jaw, beard, surface wiring, hairstyles, scars, tattoos, makeup, and piercing options. Moving on, we have the ability to choose our attributes, which will run into our perks and the fluid class system. The attributes include reflexes, which funnel into handgun, rifle, and blade proficiency, cool, which leads to assassination, nerve, and sniper rifle skills, technical, which leads to engineering skills, intelligence, which leads to hacking options, as well as body which opens up shotgun, melee, two-handed, and athletics options. This will allow you to hybridize your playstyle, although the archetypes of Netrunner, Solo, and Techie are the overarching styles of play. Raising our base level attributes is done by leveling up and installing body cyberware. Skills are raised by performing actions like hacking, crafting, and using weaponry, and perks are unlocked via street cred and general experience. The Kuroshi implant is a type of cyberware that presumably can make the HUD customizable as well. Your options when it comes to cyberware are replacing things like legs, arms, your torso, and even elements of your nervous system. Speaking of street cred, we also have clothing options and customization that will boost resistances and add street cred which is your social currency. Physical, thermal, EMP, and chemical resistances do vary from clothing item to clothing item. The visual styles of Neo Kitsch, Kitsch Entropism, and Neo Militarism extend to not only the architecture and districts, but also the clothes and the options in Night City will reflect this. Increased street cred will also unlock additional vendors for even more clothing, cyberware, and customization possibilities. When it comes to weapons, we will be able to augment how they look and how they operate. This includes skins, scopes, and even firing modes. Using weapons will augment your shooting proficiency and will help narrow your crosshairs for more accurate shooting. You'll also be able to craft specialized ammunition that can be more lethal against certain types of enemies. Vehicle customization seems like it's in the cards as well, but nothing at the moment has been confirmed, although we do know that different vehicles will have different stats. As always, thank you guys for watching, and for more Cyberpunk 2077, join Neon Nation by subscribing to the Neon Arcade.